Hey guys, oh yeah, thanks for the 2000 subscribers, I totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we reached 2000 subscribers like uh, two days ago, I'd say, so uh, I will definitely make some kind of special. I wanted to make a DNA test, but uh, seems like that's not gonna work out. If it will, it won't be on time, it will be like really late. Uh, but yeah, there will be something, that's for sure. Anyway, so thanks for that a lot, I really appreciate that, like holy hell, 2000 already, you know, it, it's going by pretty damn fast, we were at 1000 not long ago, so yeah, good shit, anyway, uh, this is episode 8, uh, pretty sure, of the China Let's Play, and we're gonna be invading Manchuko, of course, we prepared a large force for this, and uh, we'll invade them, and uh, take them out, of course, because I'm definitely not going in to lose. Anyway, front reports, here it is, some uh, infantry produced, some units produced, uh, very little generally, but uh, a couple of buildings uh, constructed and so on. Research is this, I'm just gonna keep that up. Low 4 infantry, uh, light tanks and artillery are enough for now, so I will not keep researching, not yet. India is still active, you know, there's like one province of Afghanistan, they haven't invaded anybody else since then though, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's day 9, we can see this, we're one of the richest nations, uh, we only have like half a million money, so that's why. Mightiest army is while we're 7th, uh, that's pretty large, that's uh, the largest active army, I believe. And uh, below us is Australia, Turkey, Italy, Romania, British, India, and then the Netherlands. So, Australia is active, they're taking out... Uh, New Zealand, so they might be a threat in the future, I guess we'll see, the Netherlands is also active, same with Turkey, I think in Shiraz and Tehran, and uh, also their capital is Mersin, that's weird, uh, India is also active, and uh, Romania as well, but that's just about everybody, so you can see, um, I guess the strength that's, re the, the army strength that's really re relevant here, uh, we're the strongest, so that's, uh, that's good, that's the most relevant. Anyway, we're gonna get even stronger taking Manchuko and whatnot, so uh, yeah, but 4% isn't bad, not for now at least. Can be upgrading our army after this as well, after this campaign, and you know, going to Tibet, Xinjiang, then Mongolia, and Tanatua probably. Well, that's the plan at least, so we also don't own Hainan yet. Uh, I'm gonna try to invade it, it's really hard because the cruiser, whenever it sees that... Uh, a unit of mine is coming to try to land here, it actually moves towards that location, which, you know, it destroys my unit, that's super annoying. Anyway, uh, gonna try to land it with these two units, gonna see how that works out. Gonna upgrade this one, and this one, uh, actually it's level 4, alright. Uh, also, we've been industrializing, as you can see, and very well, so our metal production is up quite well at 23,000 already. Uh, Suzhou is starting to be built up, uh, getting hit also, so that's uh, interesting. The Japanese still have, you know, some uh, strategic bombers, I've been taking them out, but uh, they've been causing Shanghai and Tsing Tao, at least I think that's been them uh, to revolt, so we're gonna try to take it back, we're gonna move out right after so we don't get bombed if it's actually navy, because it might be, it probably is actually, but you know, I've been successfully taking their strategic bombers out so that's great anyway our uh, relations with other countries are still pretty all right so they're not gonna invade us not even mongolia not yet we might be able to actually take manchuko Xinjiang, and tibet fully unified china and then actually take mongolia since that's kind of the path i'd prefer uh, we're getting bombed here as well so uh, let's uh, take this out put it into the mainland we have no reason to actually have our units here I'm also gonna upgrade these units, that's uh, gonna be good to do. And let's declare war on Manchuko now, so uh, declare war, boom, and uh, well, I mean the idea is just walking. This is a little far away for some reason. With like all of this, we're gonna head into this province and uh, we're gonna use the artillery to bomb this, these units first and uh, you know, that's kind of the idea here, so bomb as many as we can. I'm not gonna be very active here, so that's, you know, the artillery isn't gonna be too useful, but it should still do the job, and quite successfully. So, uh, here we go. 
we can take all of these units, Muta here, Sinking, Harbin, Kiamuze, and also take all of these provinces, then, you know, move into Korea and whatnot, you know, just the classic predictable stuff, not exactly doing anything special, I'm gonna try to, at first at least, avoid creating a border with the Japanese, but seems like we'll actually have to do that here at least, before we are ready to actually make our offensive into Korea, which will be, you know, like today, you know, we'll still be able to, we'll actually start it here, but uh, I'd rather first take all of the provinces behind the Japanese border and then move on to Jap Japan because uh, they're gonna be sending units into Manchuria if we, you know, actually take them right away. So I guess we're gonna try to take most of Korea by tomorrow. Uh, gonna see how that works out. It might, it might not, but uh, I believe it uh, will. It should go pretty well at least. So yeah. Anyway, let's look at the rest of this. Gonna take these units, uh, not take the artillery with us. Actually, we will. And then really just here in the north, uh, Manchukuo has like no city, so we're just gonna try to take uh, all of their provinces and see how that goes. Same with this, these two light tanks, boom. It's really just gonna be taking provinces here in the north mostly. There's this one city, uh, Hollenbuir, but uh, that, that shouldn't be a problem to take, I don't think. We're gonna send these units over to take it. So boom, take the city. Should be successful, go over here. Hopefully it doesn't revolt to the Soviets because, you know, that kind of be the worst thing that could happen. But that usually doesn't happen actually uh, anymore. Provinces revolt back to the owner, uh, not to other countries. I think that has totally been taken out of the game, I think. Not 100% sure, but I've been seeing that. So it might actually be very true. Might be just very rare as well, but uh, you know, I don't actually know, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we're invading Manchukuo. This should go very well. There's still some provinces here I want to take. Uh, let's take this uh, light tank that uh, would probably not even make a difference and uh, not even go into the cities and actually instead taking these provinces make sure we actually take them so yeah anyway thanks for watching this video i'm gonna end it right here since you know we're doing everything we really need everything is scheduled we have no metal no food and you know doing pretty well we still need a lot of metal but uh, okay prices here are pretty good i'm gonna buy that uh, <laughs> the rest is 30 but you know it is how it is and anyway thanks for watching ending it here and see you tomorrow